Hi, I'm Sherry Scott, Coordinator of Student Disability Services for Southwest Tennessee Community College. This video is designed to answer common questions and to help you better understand ADA regulations with regards to service animals on our campuses and in our classrooms. Let's get started. Question number one, what is a service animal? Under the Americans with Disabilities Act, or the ADA, a service animal is defined as a dog, or in rare cases, a miniature horse, that has been individually trained to do work or perform tasks for an individual with a disability. The task performed by the dog must be directly related to that person's disability. Question number two, can staff members ask the handler questions about the service animal? In situations where it is obvious that a dog is a service animal, inquiries cannot be made. For instance, if you observe a dog guiding a blind or individual with low vision, you cannot ask about the dog. But in situations where it is not obvious that the dog is a service animal, staff may only ask two specific questions. The first, is the dog a service animal required because of a disability? And the second, what work or task has the dog been trained to perform? In addition, staff members cannot request documentation or certification of training for the animal. We cannot require that the animal demonstrate its task, nor can we inquire about the nature of the person's disability. Question number three, can a service animal ever be denied access to the campus or classroom? Only in the case of the service animals acting in a way that is unacceptable, like barking uncontrollably, jumping on others, growling or acting in an aggressive manner that is threatening to others. The owner must be in control of the animal at all times. Allergies and fear of dogs are not valid reasons to deny access or service to individuals using service animals. If a staff member or another student is allergic to the service animal, it is the responsibility of the school or faculty member to accommodate both individuals by allowing enough space between that person and the service animal. Number four is not a question, but important facts for you to remember. Service dogs are not required to wear vests, ID tags, or a harness, nor does the dog have to be a particular breed. Service animals in training are not covered under the ADA, but Tennessee law does allow for the access of dogs in training through an accredited school for guide dogs. The trainer should be able to show credentials from an accredited school and have the dog under control. Emotional support or comfort animals are not considered service animals and are therefore not covered under the ADA. Federal laws or Tennessee law aligns with this ADA in this instance. Four, although most service animals are generally friendly, as a best practice, do not touch the service animal unless given permission by the handler to do so. Well, this brings us to the end of this topic and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have any further questions or concerns, or if you'd like to register your service animal through disability services, I'm just a phone call away. You can dial 333-5116 for the Union location or 333-4223 for the Macon location. Thanks for watching Student Disability Services Quick Vids. I hope you have a great day.